Hi Capricorn, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your June 2019 reading. Um, I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot today. Melly, what? Oh, come here then. Come on. She wants to be right here. I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot today and I'm doing a Celtic Cross spread. So, a little bit different this month. I'm also at my girlfriend's place right now, helping her move in to back into her place. It's a very nice place. You can see the pool behind me there. And all the woods and the lake is here. It's a really awesome place to be doing the reading. So, all right. Let's get your vibes in there, Capricorn. Hmm. Hmm. What are the messages for Capricorn? June 2019. Capricorn. June. Alright. You got canine influence today. <laughs> Melly wants to be right involved today. I think they're almost ready. Yep, they sure are. They sure are ready. All right, let's cut them. Let's get this party started. All right, so I'll show you the, show the layout to you once I have it laid out. So, oh, you got really nice cards, you guys. Really nice. Let's move them over just a titchin. You know how much that is. <laughs> it's an actual measurement, you know. All right. Wow, you guys got great cards. Okay. So, Carmela, you're going to have to go on the side here because I need room. Thanks. So, here is uh, your present position. You have the star. Crossing you, your challenge is the Ace, Ace of Cups. Above you, on your mind, and in the immediate present coming up, is the Six of Swords. The foundation is the Lord or the Emperor. In the past is the Fool. In the immediate future is the Tower. Where you find yourself at the present time is the Lovers. Then your outside influences is the Three of Cups, your expectation position is the Four of Wands, and the King of Swords is your final outcome. All right, so let me just get you back up here. Oops, that's not far enough. <laughs> that's too far. All right, there we go, that's just about right. Okay, so let's have a look at this. The star. What a gorgeous card. Uh, let's get it where you can see it. So this is about replenishing yourself, filling yourself back up. You um, prob probably have, are going through some sort of healing right now, and you need you know, your rest. You need to treat yourself well and heal and uh, replenish yourself. So... This is refilling your own well, you know, your own well. You can't, you're not much use if you're empty, if you're tired, if you're negative. You know, you need to um, be in your best uh, um, condition to, to be able to give in a good way. Your challenge, however, is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a new source of income, or it's an idea about one. You could have come up with some sort of idea or caught on to something, overheard something. But anyway, it's something that you want to protect. You know, you don't really want to tell people about it right now, because I don't think you're really ready to put it into action yet. But the thing is, is that the challenge may be that this is what you're trying to find, a new source of income. Maybe your old source of income, you know, it depleted you. And you need to find a new way to earn money, to um, build security and, and um, 
stability for yourself. So this could be your challenge right now. Above you, in your immediate present, is the Six of Swords. So this is moving on, right? Moving on to calmer waters. Like, there, I, th I feel like there's some sort of turmoil in your past that really drained you. And so you're moving on now. You move, might be moving with one or more uh, people, like uh, two, two males or a male and a female, um, or just one you could be moving with, or you could just be on your own, too. So, anyway, this is moving on. You have learned your lessons from what you've been through here, and you don't want to be in that anymore, so you're you're moving on. You could be literally moving um, far away, get some distance. Um, you could be moving back home, too. Um, in your foundation is the Lord. And this is also the emperor, the father, the boss. Um, he he towers over. He's at the top of the ladder as far as maturity, knowledge, experience, um, skills. So he, he he a lot of times he is the boss or the father figure. Um, this could be you also, Capricorn. You could be the father, the boss, the one who runs the family, the empire, whatever it is. and um, But I think this could be your old position. You're used to running the show. This is what you're used to. But you may not be able to do that anymore, you know, because you're, this is the foundation. This is kind of why everything else is happening and maybe or maybe you don't want to run the show anymore you don't want to be the emperor you thought it's not all it's cracked up to be you know and so it depleted you and and um but or you could just can't do that work anymore you know i was a social worker for 10 years and um i got burnout and i just couldn't do it anymore i had to take a break i've been away from it for about three years now and uh, I needed that whole time to heal, you know. So it it doesn't have to be labor intensive. It can just be intensive in some sort of manner, draining. Um, in your immediate future, there all these bugs are coming out right now. Is the tower, and the tower is um, about something of falling apart. The old foundation is falling apart. Um, what you had built, put a lot of your energy, time into. And even if you are unwilling to leave it behind to, to make the break, um, it's going to fall apart anyway. The universe will step in because it's not where you should be right now. And I just realized I skipped a card. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I skipped a card. So that's your immediate future. But your past, what's leading up to that, is the fool. You're ready to take on a new risk. A new, you're ready to start a new chapter of life. And you can really see that here in the star and in, in here. But, you know, you're trying to figure what that out that is still right now the fool is great because he's all ready to take a risk he's gung-ho but he's not exactly paying attention to where he's going or what where this may lead him so he has to um be a little more sensible a little more short sure-footed um that's the only warning in the fool like your cares are behind you you're leaving the past behind which is good um but be careful because um, you may st step into trouble because you're not looking carefully enough, okay? The, the fool is kind of careless energy, you know, just happy to be going, doing something else, right? So where you find yourself at the present moment, and this kind of ties in with the star and um, the ace of pentacles, is the lover's. Now, the lovers is about, it's the choice card sometimes, but it's also, this one is um, about the actual lovers. They're completely entwined with one another. But I have to say they are sneaking off. This could be third party, doesn't have to be. Um, the third party also doesn't have to be another lover. It can be someone is watching you, a child perhaps, 
um, someone knows about your your liaisons you know if you're having liaisons someone knows about it or someone or you're aware of someone's liaisons okay this could be what's going on with the tower something's falling apart here and someone else is seeking comfort somewhere else um, You know, I think this is kind of what you were hoping and what 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 you wanted it to be, in a way. But um, I don't think it can be. Sometimes we can't make our fantasies like fantasies a reality. They're meant to be fantasies, and it's playing dangerous game, you know. Anyway, I'm getting these nuisance flies all over me right now. So then you have the three of cups. Now this is your outside influences. So this is uh, people are celebrating around you. There's something to celebrate. Perhaps they're celebrating this end, you know. Perhaps they're celebrating your new um, chapter, your new beginning, the fact that you're moving on. They're celebrating with you, you know, because right after is the Four of Wands, and this is expectation. And the expectation, or maybe you didn't expect it, you didn't see it coming at all, was these new foundations. And it's kind of great because the old foundation fell apart, and you're going to have to build new ones. This is also um, a place of honor ceremony because this arbor is built over the sacred fire. So this could be um, a ceremony, it could be wedding. You know, that's what maybe there is to celebrate. Maybe the lovers are going to get married. They're going to make a commitment now. They're going to make it um, a, a union because it, this doesn't necessarily mean that someone fool around it, on you. It m means that you're in love. You're completely in love with this person and you don't... Um, I, I feel like there's someone who's not in agreement with it. There's someone who doesn't like it, though. But anyway, there's cause for celebration. There could be a marriage. <coughs> A new home, new foundations, okay. Um, it looks good. It looks like happiness, you know, happy. People are happy for you, right? And then you have the Knight of Swords is your final outcome. Knight, the King, sorry. The King of Swords, he, you know, he uses his mental capacity. He operates from how he thinks, you know, he could be idealistic, too. Um, he um, likes to get to the truth, like to get to the point of the matter. He likes to think things through before he moves on it. Um, he's probably a very emotional person. He probably shows his emotions more than he'd like, you know. But he's always thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, he's probably quite witty, quite smart. Um, his words could cut because he is very honest and to the point. Um, but this could be who uh, the commitment is with. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini. Doesn't have to be, you know. It's just someone who has a very quick mind. Carmela, <laughs> she's over here moaning and groaning. <laughs> what? What do you want? You want up? Well, come. Come on. <sighs> Sorry. All right. So, um, yeah, you could be hooking up with an air sign or with someone who's very witty. Um, they like to get to the point. They're, you know, it's serious, kind of a serious person. Or this could be you. You have a more serious approach now, Capricorn to uh, these matters, you know. Um, maybe you're a, a little more emotional that you, than you'd like to show. Maybe you're really in love, you know, and you're celebrating because you're, perhaps you're really in love with this person, this male or female. Uh, but you need to find a new source of income. This is your challenge right now because there's something about what you're doing that I don't think you can do it anymore. I don't think you can. Uh, it's something demanding about it that you can't um, meet. Ah! 
bugs. Okay, this is the last reading for the evening. Ah, <laughs> look at that. You just got two cards. So these are the Romance Angels. I am just usually just pull one card, but two came out for you, Capricorn. So it said, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So maybe you need to network with friends and people you know about finding this new source of income. Um, uh, 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 also, if where you're moving on to, this new foundation, maybe possibly a new home. Um, but I think it's more about your career, letting people help you. Tell them you're looking for something different, you know, what you're looking for. And then forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. That's really nice because, and that's true, eh? This is healing the past. You're depleted. You're healing and replenishing yourself. Um, and, and it could be um, a spiritual too because can you see that? that sacred place the rocks the circle of rocks behind her so um she's taking time out she's um you know this king of swords does a lot of deep thinking he's a deep thinker you know and he really thinks things through <coughs> excuse me so you need to release and heal the past um Forgiving and learning. So it's about forgiveness, right? And you can learn a lot from forgiveness. Sometimes um, there's a, some compassion required. We don't know what steps another person has walked in that brought them to do what they've done. And they say there's two wolves fighting in all of us. And one wolf is very aggressive and one wolf is very kind. And, and and the wolf that wins is the wolf you feed. So, um, stop, honey. So, um, forgiving can be very uplifting. It can lighten your load, too. You don't have to carry around all that stuff anymore, right? So, anyway, I hope this has helped you, Capricorn. Let me know in the comments. I like to read the comments and... Uh, hear if it connected for you or not. I also love to hear where you're from, like city included, because I'm marking it all on a map. If you're interested, ah, one just went right in my eye. Ah, right in my eye. <laughs> if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the box below. And um, I don't know if I mentioned if you liked the reading, um, Please like and subscribe. Um, other than that, um, I hope you have a great month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.